गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडे सेशन एंड लास्ट टाइम वी वर डिस्कसिंग द चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रिक करंट एंड इट्स इफेक्ट चैप्टर नंबर 15 इलेक्ट्रिक करंट एंड इट्स इफेक्ट एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड दिस चैप्टर एंड इन प्रीवियस ऑनलाइन क्लास आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट ओपन सर्किट क्लोज सर्किट इट वाज जस्ट अ रिवीजन ऑफ द सिक्स्थ क्लास है ना एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एंड हां आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू अबाउट द सिंबल्स फॉर सम इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट कंपोनेंट्स आल्सो ओके लेट्स रिवाइज इट as the first is electric cell the symbol of the electric cell is uh, i can draw here now see it's like this hai na and this one uh, this longer line is the um, sign of the positive uh, terminal and the shorter line is the symbol of negative terminal next is the electric bulb okay then see after the uh, electric cell see the battery if you want to draw the battery then uh, you already know battery is the combination of two more than two cells more than or we can say one cell if we have more than one cell then uh, it will called a battery then how you will represent the battery then to represent the battery this is a symbol of uh, battery right first line will be longer one and then dash 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 and this one is the smaller one and now these are the uh, wires right this is a symbol of battery in this battery it may be two cell battery three cell battery four cell battery and more than uh, so many cells can be uh, uh, arranged in this uh, in between these two line it is representing uh, any number of the cell may be here okay okay now next is conducting wire if you want to draw the wire then simple line and next switch switch it may be having two condition was one is the uh, switch on condition and second is switch off condition in switch on condition this is the on condition right this one is called switch on condition and what about the switch off condition in switch off condition this is the symbol for the switch off condition this gap will be there right okay now next is bulb how you will draw the bulb for drawing the bulb then see this one and then this one and the circle this is the symbol of bulb right okay then these were the common symbols used to draw the uh, simple electric circuit okay getting uh, i told you about the uh, battery you know battery combination of two more than two cells okay now next topic is ki how we will connect the cells in a battery while we are making the battery uh, then how we will connect it always remember that ki when you are connecting the cells together then positive terminal and negative terminal they should be together now see now it is the enlarged picture you can see positive side negative side then the positive side of the bulb should be towards the negative side of the bulb right uh, positive negative positive negative now see another one also positive negative positive negative positive negative right you can arrange any number of the cell in this uh, like this hai na okay now see this one these are also cells now the uh, position is different hai na ab ye seedhe khade hokke rakhe hain then see the position always the positive terminal will uh, join uh, you have to join the positive with the negative now see this is the positive side i can enlarge this one also now see positive terminal this this one is the positive terminal now the wire is connected to the negative terminal of this one and then again positive terminal to the okay wait now see you know ha now this is a positive terminal now you can join this to any of the device this is the positive terminal and this one this wire is coming from the negative terminal now you can join your device here okay now see the next one in this uh, condition uh, here also you can see easily wait okay now see 
positive terminal this positive terminal this is attached to the negative terminal of the battery now the both negative and positive ends are free now here you have to attach your device right okay then the final conclusion is that always join negative terminal to the positive one right okay now this in the switcher you can see this is a cell holder you can arrange the cells into the cell holder also so that it can arrange nicely and cannot be uh, this way this will not uh, cell will not be disturbed then holders uh, we can see in the market also two type of the holders are given here this is uh, these are called cell holders and these two metallic strips are there hmm? and in between these metallic strips you uh, arrange your cells as the as, uh, same manner as told you earlier also now see positive negative positive negative right and uh, now this is the rubber band and with the help of the rubber band you can tighten these strips so that the cell will not be disturbed right and uh, uh, this is the negative and the positive terminal having these wires outside and these both end can be connected to any of the device right now second type of the cell holder is shown here now see in the cell holder springs are there and uh, this end will be attached to the positive terminal this one also positive terminal now it means one cell ek aapne agar is side mein uh, ek seedha rakha to dusra cell aapko ulta rakhna padega hai na now see positive terminal is here in this and uh, uh, in the side of the spring uh, you have to put uh, you have to arrange ki negative terminal will come uh, towards the uh, spring side ठीक है अब नेक्स्ट साइड स्प्रिंग यहाँ लगी है तो यहाँ आप उल्टा करोगे सो दैट व्हाट विल हैपन नाउ सी नाउ सी पॉजिटिव ये आपने सीधा रखा है पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव नाउ यू हैव टू इन्वर्ट दिस वन देन दिस नेगेटिव विल नाउ यू कैन सी द कनेक्शन हेयर है ना यहाँ पे ये ऑलरेडी कनेक्टेड है देख रहे हैं ना हाँ तो क्या होगा पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव देन पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव कॉम्बिनेशन विल बी देर ओके ठीक है now see mm, this we have completed okay now this is an activity make a electric circuit okay wait 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 okay you have to make a electric circuit and you have to draw uh, according to the symbol Hena? you have to make the circuit diagram also once you will make the simple circuit as uh, you are told in the sixth class then you have to represent this uh, electric circuit as the circuit diagram what is circuit diagram circuit diagram means a diagram in which all the uh, these components will be drawn as a symbol Hena? representation is uh, diagrammatic representation is a circuit diagram okay then see uh, this one is a simple circuit, hai na? A, um, cell, then bulb and wires are there and this is this arrangement is a switch. Okay, you have already made this uh, model in the sixth class also. Then you have to represent as, it as a diagram, then the symbol of bulb, this one, hai na? you know, this is a symbol of bulb. Then bulb ki dono taraf wires hai, to aap bhi wires ki choke then you have to arrange a switch this is uh, sorry uh, this is a switch and this is a cell okay now see Chalo, hum banate hai isko alag se. now we can draw it here what you have to do first you need a bulb then this is a symbol of bulb right okay now bulb should be connected to the cell this is cell right now cell should be uh, connected to the switch now you have to draw a switch here it may be open or close but because uh, this um, i am drawing a closed circuit that's why it should be off condition okay now is it okay all the components are here the first component is bulb second component is uh, cell third component is switch and the wire <coughs> right four things are here and this is the circuit diagram okay now about the position of these all things hai na? 
तो दिस बल्ब कैन बी मेड हेयर ऑल्सो यू कैन ड्रॉ दिस हेयर ऑल्सो कहीं पर भी आप ड्रॉ कर सकते हो दिस सेल यू कैन ड्रॉ हेयर है ना स्विच यू कैन प्लेस एनी वेयर एल्स ओके आई एम मेकिंग वन मोर नाउ सी दिस इज बैटरी एंड दिस इज स्विच हेयर आई एम ड्रॉइंग द स्विच एंड दिस इज सेल राइट दिस इज ऑल्सो ओके सॉरी 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 हेयर इट शुड बी द बल्ब है ना हेयर इट शुड बी बल्ब now uh, it is also okay that it means you can place these all component anywhere in this circuit no fixed position is not there you can draw it anywhere okay now see next this one uh pahili and bujo wondered whether the battery used in the tractor truck and the vehicles and inverter are also uh, made from the cell then why it is called a battery can you help them to find out the answer okay then listen most of you have seen this hai na dekhi hogi sabne jyadatar ne dekhi hogi otherwise inverter mein you can see easily in car battery hai na then in this battery cells are not there hai na normally jo aapke is type ke cells hote hain these are not present in the battery in this battery plates are there some metallic plates are there and these and the electrolyte uh, is filled in between you know this uh, these cells these metallic cells act as a uh, cell you know this electrolyte and these cells electrode these work as a electrode and this whole combination act as a battery right it is somehow different from the normal cell these do not have the dry cell jo humne abhi tak dry cells padhe the na jinko hum you draw karte hain these are simply dry cells in which the uh, you jo cells hote hain na in this the chemical inside it is in the dry condition uh, but here it is in the liquid hai na chemicals are inside in the liquid condition right okay and i told you always the um, direction of the current it will be always from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal it means it will be like this right okay now never touch a lighted electric bulb connected to the main it may be very hot and your hand may be burned badly do not experiment with the electric supply from the mains or a generator or a inverter you may get the electric shock and which may be dangerous and you only uh, use only electric cell for all the activities suggested here because the power of the battery uh, uh, sorry ba uh, that uh, cell which you are using it is very less it, uh, it may be 1.5 and the uh, larger one may be uh, 9.5 and you can make two or if while you are connecting two or more cells then usi hisab se uski power badh jati hai but still it is very less than the main right okay then this is enough for today thanks for watching me